Dear the beloved Franco and Katrina, God is love and has in a mysterious way drawn you together in love. But He leaves you free to make that love grow or to let it wither and die. The Lord will help you make it grow if you do your share to stand to the commitment in the covenant which you are about to seal. Katrina, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband? Yes, Father. Franco, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife? Yes, Father. Someone told me that when you pray for a lifetime partner or anything in general, you have to be specific and consistent. Seven to eight years ago, I started doing this sa bahay before I sleep and here at this very church. And this day, si God ang saksi ko na Ang tagal ko to pinagdasal sa kanya to bless me with a partner who treats me with respect, love, and care. She listens for the sounds of dawn. As I become your husband, I, I vow these simple things to you. I will always respect you as a woman and as my wife. I will continue to respect your decisions, your opinions, even at times when we disagree. But we know that you would always be right. Tonight she moves toward the girl that she become. I vow to you that we will always communicate, not in terms of via SMS or messenger, but to communicate in a way, in understanding what we really want to say and how we say it. I know there are times that when we talk, there are unintentional words where we ignore one another and give time to lessen the pain. But with your warm embrace that feels really bliss, we know that we will always work it out and talk about it. of another becomes essential to yours. So this is not only about my own happiness, but my priority should be the happiness of my spouse. That is the meaning of the love that Christ exemplified on the cross. It is not anymore His self-love, but is for our own sake, for our own salvation, for our own redemption. That should also be the pattern of your love for each other, Franco and Katrina, as you now begin this new stage in your life as a husband and wife. Rina, it is life. Salamat. And also to our son, Cookie, thank you. We're so proud of you. You have the right choice for the right woman. Salamat sa pag-alaga. Salamat sa mamahal. Thank you, Cookie. Maybe without you, Cookie wouldn't be as strong as he is right now. Other since we were little girls. Literally about seven or eight years old po kami. So from dating kalaro na kapitbahay and kababata, our friendship grew over the years and we sure did a lot, make a lot of good memories together. But one thing that's special about our friendship that 
with all my heart, I can say is that we were both present in each other's ups and downs. We cried together so much. Nasa we kami together. And of course, we celebrated each other's success. All things are possible. That's what they told me. When I was young. Hindi ko akalain na tatayo ako dito para mag-speech para sa wedding ng sister ko. Five years ago, we got married and I can still remember yung speech ni Papa sa akin. Three words, mag-anak na kayo. Very bad advice. Nung pinanganak si Ryan, yung eldest namin, he was our precious baby. Yan si Ryan. And two years after, si Irina naman ang lumabas. Still, she is our precious baby. And I hope, folks, that you can give the same, not only the love for both of you, you have to pray and pray and pray. Most of all, you have to put God in the center of your lives. Very clearly, God is giving you His graces because you are receiving one of the sacraments of the church. So the sacrament of matrimony should make you acknowledge at all times the presence of God in your lives. Siguro nga, masasabi nyo that it is God who chose the two of you for each other. It's not only Franco who chose Katrina for himself, it's not only Katrina who chose Franco for herself, it is also God who intends them to be together. The sacrament of matrimony entails a responsibility of a lifetime. It entails a lifelong responsibility for the two of you, a lifelong commitment. You will say later, in the rite of marriage, until death do us part. It is only death that can separate you. As Christ said in the Gospel, what God has put together, let no human being, no human element separate. a lot of good things about Tina. But one thing that stands out most is yung pagiging totoong tao niya. Napaka-simple, walang ka-arte-arte. But as time went by, I saw how Cooks take good care of Rina and how he made her happy and secured most of all yung totoong nire-respeto yun lang naman yung mga bagay na syempre in my heart alam ko yun yung deserve ni Rina and dahil dyan I owe this couple so much for making me believe na pagmahal mo ipaglaban mo pag para sa'yo para sa'yo and this I shall call from you Rina someday Darating yung taong mag-aalis ng takot mo, magmahal at saka tumaya ulit. Para kay Rina, ikaw yun. Tomorrow is your first day of marriage. That's why I'm saying good luck. Marami pa kayong pagdadaanan, marami pa kayong pagtatalunan. Kung sa tingin nyo, tapos na yung paghihirap ng wedding preparations nyo, iba pa yung may experience nyo pag pumasok na. Franco, do you take Katrina here present 
for your lawful wife according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church. Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to her as her husband? Yes, I do. Do you accept her as your lawful wife? Yes, I do. I'd like to thank Kumparing Fred and Kumaring Virgie for raising a kind and beautiful daughter, Rina, for our son, Kuki. Salamat. Again, just put God in the center of your home or in your family and uh, pray, pray and pray. Sasabihin ko ulit, mag-anak na kayo. If you ever start doubting when it's hard to keep hoping I just want you to know that I believe in I believe in you When you're tired of fighting And it feels like you're broken I just want you to know that I believe in I believe in you I may not be the best person yet to give you an advice about marriage but know that whatever happens, needless to say, I will always be here for you guys. So I'd like to thank you both again for this moment, for fulfilling my dreams of becoming your mate of home. <laughs> you know how much I look forward to this once-in-a-lifetime event. And Rina, to me, you're more than just my best friend. Best ever best friend. You're my sister. And someday, masaya ako alis sa dito sa Pilipinas, knowing na you're in good hands. Trust my eyes when I smile There's nothing behind them My heart from the bottom Oh, and keep me beside you I love you like I do And hold you the night through You never wake up Where you are Wondering Katrina, do you take Franco here present for your lawful husband according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to him as his wife? Yes, I do. Do you accept him as your lawful husband? Yes, I do. This ring is a sign of my love and loyalty in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. With God's grace and help, I promise to give you the love, care, and respect that you deserve. I promise to choose you every day and to always stand by you through success or failure and to continue to cheer you on. I promise you unconditional love and I promise you from this day forward, we will always be a team, you, me, and God. Brothers and sisters, I am glad to present to you our newly married couple, Franco and Katrina, as 
sign of our recognition and acceptance, we give them a round of applause.